Hi, my name is Liam Maher. I'm a senior associate at Clayton Newton. I've just taught at the HR Masterclass on mental health and duty of care in the workplace, particularly for employees uh, who are suffering from mental illness and go away from work. Some of the take homes from our talk are, firstly, many employees who are suffering mental illness will continue to work effectively, indeed most will, and the employer does not know nor need to know that they are suffering a mental illness. So we shouldn't jump to any conclusions, rather we should be supportive of employees in the workplace with mental illness, assisting them to work productively. Secondly, however, things can sometimes go down a bad path and we recommend that employers do look at their contracts of employment to see if they have expressed rights to send employees to go to independent medical assessments uh, for an assessment of their fitness for duty or whether they can fulfil the inherent requirements of the role. Thirdly, if considering termination of employment whilst an employee is away from work, consider firstly whether they can be, have their employment terminated for not being able to perform the inherent requirements of the role. Secondly, whether they should be terminated for failing to uh, comply with lawful and reasonable directions. They're very different scenarios and there are a whole lot of risks which we ran through in our talk today about both. Fourthly, it's very important to show an empathetic approach to employees throughout this process. We are changing our attitudes to mental illness and so it courts the commissions demanding that employers show an empathetic approach, being patient, uh, giving some reasonable adjustments to employees whilst they're away from work. Thank you.